Hey guys, H Town Kick 713. Just come back with a quick vid of a new pickup here. You're looking at the Jordan 11 Retro Low Gray Mist, aka Georgetown. This quick, quick tail of the tape. I believe this is my first retro of the year. It is coming in that gold foil jumpman at the top of the box. And let's look at the details. Official colorway of the shoe is a gray mist, a white, and a midnight navy. Official retail price of the shoe is $170. And this did come, I did go true to size on this. You know, the Jordan 11 is one of the more, more perfect fits for me. And this came in all sizes uh, here in America. Original release in April 11th here in the United States, 2015. Preschool, toddler, uh, grade school, pretty much every size was available. Let's look at the shoe real quick. Of course, uh, this is part of the, uh, you know, the Jordan 11 here, the paying homage to the Georgetown Hoyas, of course. Michael Jordan uh, had that great uh, championship game against the Hoyas where he won the championship, hit the great shot. I know Iverson, Allen Iverson, went to Georgetown, wore a lot of the 11s as well. So just, I was on the fence of whether I was going to cop this or not. I um, was able to cop it on Nike.com that Saturday. Had a few issues about first five minutes, you know, kind of timed out, got some errors. But after that, I clicked it again, kept on trying, and after five minutes, the order went through. It was actually one of my fastest uh, pickups. It's pretty much out in less than eight minutes. But I just want to kind of take a look here. You know, they are going with the kind of patent leather there. Up close. On that upper. Also, look at that gray mist color. And coming up through the top, you got the white laces. In terms of quality construction, I'm going to compare it to some of the other shoes, and it's pretty much the same quality as the previous couple of years of the other 11 lows I've gotten in my mix. And let's look at the sole here at the bottom. A nice, uh, clear, translucent sole. They're real nice. Come around the back, the 23 there. Jump in there in the back. And just coming around the side. Actually, if, you know, in terms of price, these were $170. You know, if I compared a couple years ago, I'm gonna bring out the, uh, my tuxedo Jordan 11 low here. This one came out at $140. And if you look at the infrared 23 low that came out, $150. I believe this is 2014. And of course, then the 2015 uh, year up to 170. So definitely, you see, definitely jumping on price, which of course we're mostly you know uh, seen that with Jordans uh, as a label past few years. All right, that guys, um, let me take a look, let's take a look at the soles. You know, this is the one shoe that will yellow on you. Almost guaranteed, almost a store to that. So this is, look here, it's very nice and clear on this one. Definitely brand new on that. But let's look at the kind of the age progression here. You know, just a year later. This one's not doing too bad, but I'm definitely seeing signs of yellowing. Not as bad. I try not to keep these in the box for the 11s. I really don't want any maybe paper or the box kind of, you know, causing some sort of oxidation or the air to kind of accelerate that yellowing. So these haven't done too bad. Let's take a look at the 2013 model here. This one's starting to show a little more signs uh, around the right there. You kind of see some of the yellowing. Of course, in the middle area, this one actually just done very well. Just on the edges there where the kind of the traction points are, it's starting to yellow. You have to kind of get a bird's eye view. You definitely see how clear it is on there on the, the brand new one. As it kind of progresses, you know, you definitely see a few shades of yellowing, but not too bad yet. So, uh, hope I can uh, mitigate that uh, yellowing that occurs on these shoes as time goes by. But on that, guys, um, you know, I'll do an on feet. I did one outside, one indoors. You know, definitely I like to do that because I noticed um, the lighting outdoors definitely gives a different feel and color to it than uh, when it's in indoors. So all right, guys, I uh, hope you guys were able to cop if you wanted to. And uh, best of luck to you. I appreciate you guys watching today.